guys, we're on our very last activity today for lesson 2.6, and this is going to be our writing a scientific explanation based off of all the things we've just talked about with our cliff changing. Okay, so first off, what is a scientific explanation? So there's a couple of different important pieces to writing a good scientific explanation. So one, it answers a question. Two, it's based on science ideas that you have learned. So based on all of these things that we've talked about in our slides, things we've read about, models, investigations that we've done. Um, number three is it's shared with somebody. And number four is it uses science words or vocabulary that we've gone over throughout the lesson. So the first sentence of our explanation will answer our chapter two question. So our question again was how did the recreation center's cliff change? We're going to be using scientific language or scientific vocabulary to discuss this. And we're already going to be starting off with a sentence stem that is the recreation center's cliff changed because blank. So here's an example of a way that we could fill that in. So we can complete a sentence like this. The recreation, recreation center's cliff changed because water hit it. We're using information that we've learned in our story so far because we know that the cliff is located near the water. We know that water can change landforms because we've read about it in our books and we've investigated it with the flower. So we're going to complete the first sentence for our scientific explanation in your packet based on what we just wrote. And you guys are going to go ahead and do this in your own packets. And if you do not have a packet available, then even just copying what we have written so far on a blank piece of paper will work. So what are some other ideas that we have about what happens when water hits the cliff? So I want you guys to really take a minute to think about what we've learned so far in this chapter and what we know about how water can actually change a landform. So take a second to just think about your ideas. Okay, so your task is going to be that you are going to complete your explanations using key concepts, vocabulary, and evidence, and your evidence chart to help guide your writing. So you can look back at all the materials that we have in our packet um, for this chapter and for the last chapter, and go ahead and complete the rest of the explanation on your own. So you can pause the video, and then we will go ahead and talk together at the end. Okay. And just to go back to this, um, I'm not going to give out the, the full answer, but I will just give us a couple of ideas so that you guys can also begin to think on your own. Um, so we know that water is something that can change a landform, and we know this because in our readings, we investigated a couple of different um, landforms that included water. Um, whether it was frozen or not, such as we talked about glaciers, we've talked about how rivers can change valleys. Um, and we know that when water is hitting our landforms, erosion is happening. And we remember that erosion is when things are breaking down. And when things are breaking down, it's actually changing the shape of our landform. So in the next lesson, we're going to continue to investigate the cliff eroding. And we're going to try to figure out how the cliff eroded without anybody noticing it. So that's the end of chapter two. You guys are all done, so I look forward to meeting back up with you guys for chapter three.